Good morning and welcome to the Calendar East News Desk. Boat pilots on the River Humber have called off their strike and say they're ready to go back to work. However, the pilots say they remain officially in dispute with the Port Authority over their employment status. They were striking because they say safety on the river is being compromised by inexperienced recruits. Now, the pilots are claiming they aren't self-employed, but legitimate employees of associated British ports. A five-day hearing to establish the status of both parties has been scheduled for May, when the pilots hope the dispute will be resolved once and for all. We hope to persuade ABP to negotiate with us. That's what we wanted all along. We're, we're quite reasonable, quite open to um, any reasonable settlement. And we, we just hope the, the pressure from all sides will finally persuade them to see sense. The RAF has announced this morning that a squadron of tornadoes are to leave their base at Coningsby in Lincolnshire and move to Scotland. The redeployment will see 56 squadron and around 200 service personnel moving to RAF Lucas in Fife. The move is expected to be completed in 2003. In the meantime, a new airstrip is being built at Coningsby to accommodate the Eurofighter. A whole school has slashed class sizes to an average of 20 pupils per teacher in an attempt to raise standards. In the last two years, St Andrew's Church of England Primary School in Southern Park has employed six more teachers, meaning some classes have just 17 pupils. The school's already budgeted for the next five years, meaning class sizes can remain amongst the lowest in the country. Having wanted 20, although some have found it quite strange, um, they, they feel sometimes that children are missing or absent, but once we've got used to having a 1 to 20 instead of 1 to 30, it, it, it's extremely good for them in, the, in their work environment and, and raising their confidence. A deep sea diving bell is being donated to a brand new aquatic museum in East Yorkshire. The giant bell was purpose built for the Royal Navy and was used during the Falklands.